after the initial hype after the Xbox Series X reveal, are Xbox gamers now looking at their current lineup before the end of 2020 and saying, what are we gonna play now? Let's get into it. What's up, people? What's up, people? What's up, people? It is your boy, MM2K, back again with another episode of the medicine before we get too deep into this one do me a huge favor hit that like button hit that subscribe button rock those bells for notifications please so you know when your boys dropping these doses i appreciate all of y'all straight up because y'all know the deal y'all know the reason and y'all know the slogan i am not too proud to ask okay let's get into it all right so this is going to be a little bit of a rant because a lot of my friends on the xbox side they're angry at me right now, right? <laughs> They're a little perturbed because over the last several days around the recording of this video, I've dropped a few non-glowing Xbox tweets, right? And people tend to get my, my, uh, my motivation mixed up. They think I'm doing it to troll or whatever, even though sometimes I like getting, seeing the reaction and doing a little banner back and forth because people will say something about Stadia, I'll say something about Xbox, but it don't bother me. You know what I'm saying? But I, it's bigger than you. You know what I'm saying? And, and when I say you, I don't mean anybody specifically. I'm talking about the Xbox community. It's bigger than you because you ever meet somebody that they mean well, their heart is in the right place, but every decision that they make ends up spiting them. You know what I'm saying? Like they cut off their nose to spike their face. You know what I mean? And then sometimes you just gotta bulldoze and you gotta say, hold on, no, no, no. You gotta grab the, the plug from their wet hands before they plug it into the socket. You gotta do whatever. You just gotta, you gotta step in and say, look, you just don't get it. I'm gonna help you out here before you kill yourself. That's how I feel too often with my, my Xbox brethren, right? Too, too often I feel like they don't get the grand picture, they don't get the big picture, and because they don't get the big picture, they end up cutting off their nose to spike their face. Meaning, they say things to Phil Spencer to let them know that they think certain things are okay, when they're not okay, they're sending the wrong signals, and then they end up losing in the long run, all right? And a prime example of such was, me and my son, we went to go see the Sonic movie this past weekend. Good movie. I was surprised. I'm not even a real big Sonic fan. We went to go see the movie and I particularly, I love seeing the, the, the trailers and stuff like that that show before the movie. So I normally add a movie 30 minutes before it even starts. You know what I mean? So we're sitting there, me and my son just cutting the breeze. And then he says, dad, you know what? I'm really pissed off. And I'm like, what? What are you upset about, son? And he's like, dad, all my friends that were on Xbox, that I'd normally play with, that we talk in school and all other stuff, setting up what games we gonna play, we got our own Discord. They've all left Xbox. I said, huh, well break it down to me, explain it to me, son. And he's like, yeah, and he said, they're, and, and they, they didn't even know that Spider-Man was on PlayStation. And they're like, we're bored, we got nothing to play. And he's like, that as soon as they found out that Spider-Man was on there and they start seeing some things about God of War, you know, because there's nothing to play on Xbox right now. They left, they went and traded in their Xboxes and went and moved over to PlayStation 4. And they said, the one last friend, and I, I, and I bull crap you not. He said, the one last friend that I have that has an Xbox, he hardly plays it now, because he got Stadia and he's playing Ghost Recon at 60 frames per second. I bull crap you not, right? So I even, I felt bad for my son because while we're having this conversation, after we watched the movie, he pulls out of his coat pocket a copy of Modern Warfare for Xbox. And I'm like, son, I already got that on PC. And he's like, no, I want you that. It's like he was trying to get rid of his last little remnants of Xbox. And I said, son, why are you upset? And he said, dad, when you look at it, games like Uncharted, the gameplay ain't great. And God of War might be okay, but Spider-Man is just a reskin of Batman and all. And I said, son, calm down. Let me, I said, son, I don't necessarily disagree with you. But here's the problem. Even though you see it that way, even though I might see it that way, even though some of the most staunch Xbox fans might see it that way, the rest of society doesn't see it that way, okay? And 
perception is nine tenths of the law. If perception is that PlayStation has some type of glowing gem inside of it because of their advertising, because of their marketing, and because of how they put their games out there on the market, then that's where the mass majority of people are gonna go. That's why millions upon billions are spent on marketing. It is up to Xbox to prove visually and put in people's hands what it is that you believe. The simple fact that they had nothing to play and PlayStation had that opportunity to dazzle them with old games shows that how dire of a situation Xbox is and its communication and its captivation of its current fan base. I said, I get it. You may look at things more deeply than your friends, but that's a you problem, unfortunately. It's not a them problem. They're not gonna sit here and wait for the Series X. They're not gonna sit here and wait for anything. Gaming is a selfish hobby and people want to be satisfied now. And my son said, you know what, dad, I get, I'm just upset about it. And I said, I said, son, I get it. I know you, you can't play with your friends on Xbox anymore, but it is what it is, man. You know what I mean? Sorry. I said, maybe me and your friend can get it around a Ghost Recon Breakpoint if I feel like buying it for you. You know what I'm saying? Family sharing coming soon to stadium, so we'll see. But with that being said, that's, that's the gist of what I'm dealing with. Even with my older Xbox friends, they just don't get it. They think that because a bunch of numbers have been put on a piece of paper, that gamers are willing to hold out, that the average gamer is willing to hold out. In lieu of the fact that PlayStation got The Last of Us 2, they just dropped Final Fantasy VII demo today. You know what I'm saying? And all, a whole slew of VR games that they got coming. Brand new stuff, fresh stuff. Even Stadia, Dazzle, the gaming community gave them, gave the gaming community a, a, a brow raising moment. When they backed Baldur's Gate 3 and when that was shown, everybody was like, oh my God. And to come to find out that Stadia is actually even financially backing this project as well. That says a lot. That says a lot of gumption. It says where they want to go and what they recognize that they got to have fresh new hardcore games. But we're going in the latter part. I mean, the, the former part of 2020. We got a long time before the Xbox Series X comes out in, in gamer days. It's a long time. And we're not even sure if the Xbox Series X is going to come out this year. Now, Halo may still come out, but that's the latter part of the year, too. So what are gamers going to engage in now? And they feel like they have nothing. Even though you're invested in Xbox like it's a 501c plan, that's you. Y'all got to start understanding that the typical gamer don't feel the way that y'all feel. And until Xbox delivers to them in that way, y'all won't be successful because there's more of them than there are of you. They subsidize the games and the experiences you like. Wake up! <laughs> Don't get mad. Like I had to tell one dude. Don't get mad. You know what I'm saying? Uh, just don't pout. Just sit back and enjoy the ride. It's not my fault that it is that way. You need to talk to the billion dollar company. And get mad at them for premiering this when everybody else again is getting ready for Final Fantasy VII, Last of Us Two, even Baldur's Gate. This is what you gotta look forward to right now. <laughs> and that's it from your boy MM2K. Let me know what you think about what I had to say in the comment section below, because like I always say, who cares what I think? But if you did like what I had to say, check out the links below to follow me. Those links will lead you to the Broadband Bullies, PNTS Network, Hard Knock Digital Culture, and the Stadia Dosage. And with that being said, you all find the roaches, <laughs> but understand how this thing works. Perception is not just the law. And you all have a wonderful, wonderful gaming day. Peace.